Hello, cool ass, it's Pablo here, and welcome back to Barcelona Universal. Welcome to the match review of Real Betis 2, Barcelona 3. We have done it in extreme circumstances yet again. We've got the three points, a really, really crazy game in all truth, yet again here on the channel to discuss. Again, we come here with just so, so much to talk about, from lineup selection to the players who came on, to the defense, to the attack, to the goals. It was another mental game for Barcelona. We have got the three points. We should now go into the severe game midweek with good confidence, but let's discuss what we have to, and that is a massive win. And let's start with the team selection, something we probably have to give a little more importance to than most weeks, because this was an odd team selection, it's fair to say. Look, we spoke about before the game, rotation. Will he do it? Will he not? Who will he bring in? Who will he take out? And this is what he went for. And I'm not really sure Koeman got this one right, because it just felt to me a little bit disjointed. We'll go through it here to Stegen and goal. I mean, get that right back again. You know, was that really necessary? Or could we have just drafted Destin for this one? Alba, of course, that left back, that's fine. In defence, we started with Araujo and Longley. That's fine, but we know that Araujo then went off early with an injury. So maybe Araujo should have been one of the guys who was rested. And now, well, we go into the Sevilla game, maybe even the PSG one, without our best centre-back. So that is a real kick in the teeth. In midfield, you took out De Jong and Pedri there, which I really also thought hurt us. We had Busquets, Pjanic, Ricky. I'm just not sure it worked for us. And up front also, guys, Griezmann, Dembele, that's fine. But Martin Braithwaite out on the left wing. Really? I'm just not so sure about that. It clearly just did not work. And yeah, I'm just not so sure about that team selection. What do you guys think about it? Whether he got it right or not? I think even if, when you look in the second half, then when, we, when he brought on Pedri for Martin Braithwaite, a left wing again, was that really the right change to make Pedri? Again, later when he dropped back into midfield was a lot more effective. But in that period where he first came onto the pitch, you know, was he that good out on the left-hand side? Also bringing De Jong on when Araujo got injured in instead of, say, Dest or Titi, I just found a few of the changes, a few of the team selections, you know, lineup wise like a little bit odd tonight, especially formation and player positioning. But let's kick start with that first half, though. And as I mentioned there, the first half with our lineup, it just wasn't really good enough from Barcelona. We saw by the end of the game how much you can hurt Betis if you really go for them. But I'm just afraid we didn't really do enough tonight. In that first half, it was just too slow from Barcelona. And you do feel every time we line up with this sort of team, when we're, when we're missing De Jong, uh, Pedri, Messi, it just doesn't ever really click, especially Messi, and that is a little bit worrying. You did feel the whole first half, we're just not going to score here. We just don't have any threat in that final third. Betis, to me, weren't even that flashy, really, in that first half, of course. They got the breakaway goal, some good play in midfield. I think it was Fakir who went through us there. Good ball wide to Emerson, the player on loan from Barcelona. He squares it to Iglesias. We should have defended it better. Betis went in at halftime, 1-0 up. But that first half from Barcelona, really poor. The team selection, again, the players out of position, it just felt very, very odd. And again, playing without Messi there, it was a little bit worrying the fact that, well, we just didn't really create anything at all. But in that second half, guys, it didn't exactly start too dissimilar. Of course, we got Pedri on at halftime for Braithwaite, like I just briefly mentioned there. That helped in some ways. Of course, having Pedri on the pitch is a good thing, but maybe not on the left wing. I'm not so sure about that one. But either way, we got a good shot there by Mingueza at the start of the first half, and it was only really until we brought on a double change that consisted of both Lionel Messi and Francisco Tenincao that the game really started to heat up. And this was the moment that the game, it just completely changed. Barcelona all of a sudden looked so, so threatening. And whenever Messi really steps on the pitch for Barcelona, it's just an absolute joy to watch. It really is. Again, he was getting on the ball so, so much today. And off the bench, you do feel he is such a danger. It was about two minutes, actually, after he came off the bench. He lashes one off the post and in. A wonderful shot into the near post. A joke of a goal. And just felt like, yep, I'm here. There you go. That's job done. He already got us back into the game. We kept on progressing from that point onwards. I thought having to Cal and Dembele on either wing with Messi, Griezmann, Pedri, all central. That really helped. You had, of course, Jordi Alaba coming through the left hand side too. That was massive for Barcelona. And at that moment, after we got a goal, when Messi was on the pitch, when Trincao came on, we looked so, so dangerous. And it does beg the question, maybe we should have just gone full strength this one. We could have hurt Betis today. We've got the win with that much adversity. So maybe this could have been a big win for Barcelona tonight. I wasn't really that impressed with Betis. We know how uh, defensively open they are, really. Didn't exactly pose massive issues on the attack either. So for Barcelona, it was good tonight, eventually, but only when those subs came on. And after Messi's magical strike to make it 1-0, we didn't exactly wait too long after to make it 2-1. Again, Messi heavily involved. A brilliant ball in behind to Jordi Alba first time. He squares it to Griezmann. You are thinking, tap in. But the Frenchman, he just completely misconnects with it. The ball, luckily, however, hits off his thigh and then almost comes back to off Victor Ruiz and deflects in. So an own goal there off Real Betis and Victor Ruiz, who later, of course, got the equaliser. But Betis, really there, with an unfortunate goal to concede in, in some sorts. But I think they were, probably just would have been frustrated there, Betis, with the fact that, look, Messi's come onto the pitch and he's immediately just caused so, so many issues. He was really the reason that Betis 
have lost this game tonight. He was magical again off the bench. And in that little 10, 15 minute period, Barcelona just created so, so much. We just felt so in control of that match, really. The moment Messi stepped onto that pitch and the difference he made, I can't really reiterate it enough. It was unbelievable. But there was a bit of a drop off from Barcelona after we got our second goal. It was maybe, look, we've done, we've done our job now. We've got our goal. We were back in front. And I did feel that the, the performance, it did just dip a little bit. Betis started coming a little more into the game. Uh, Fakir is fouled on the edge of the penalty area. Bad foul by Busquets. And this was a bad place to give away a free kick. Again, we had little height on the pitch at this time. De Jong was playing centre-back. We later brought on him Titi, but he wasn't on the pitch at this stage. And Barcelona hadn't made it 3-1. We hadn't got a two-goal advantage. Betis clipping that free kick. And you just knew it was going to be a goal. Similar to when we considered those free kicks against Athletic Club. We're just not good enough in the air. Poor defending again. They tower us at the back post. And, you know, there was only really going to be one outcome when that free kick was given wasn't there. Really frustrating. But Victor Ruiz, the man who scored the own goal to put us back in front, now scores for Betis to pull things level. And actually, after they got their equaliser, they did look like the most threatening side. I think Barcelona almost felt, yeah, we've got back in front. Now we're back behind. I don't really know if we're going to be able to go on and win this game. But it was really when Sergio Canales was brought off the bench for Real Betis. They just got so, so much better. He was super, super dangerous off that bench. And he created a numerous amount of chances for Real Betis off there in the second half and you did feel that Betis are they going to get the last goal here there's a few good chances uh Canales really at the heart of that but thankfully we did survive a few good saves by Testegan in there that's for sure but it was Barcelona who were able to get the final laugh we got an unbelievably late goal here a massive one as well and this was another great moment for us it's like after you know a bit of a, a bad spell for Barcelona as I just mentioned since we went two on up we hadn't really done much and Betis were in the ascendancy really but they didn't really fit, uh, clear their lines it's a loose ball Trincao who I thought was sharp off the bench he really helped us create width and he's been in good form of late he deserves a moment like this and he gets one he nicks in there ahead of Victor Ruiz who had a bit of an odd game all round you know the goal um the own goal I thought overall in defense he wasn't very good and again for this goal he doesn't exactly cover himself in any glory and he just is way way too slow here to react and Cal picks up that loose ball he cuts inside on in his left foot and he puts an absolute peach off the bar and in a wonderful goal by Trincao he has arrived in a Barcelona shirt and I think that was a moment long coming now for Trincao he's been in good form of late He's looked really, really sharp. I think Kuman had a good chat with him and said, look, let's see your quality. Ever since that Elche game for me, he's looked so, so good. Really, really impressive stuff. And that is a really wonderful goal from him. That was a re really, really nice moment to see. You felt the players were clearly ecstatic with it. Not only is it a big win for Barcelona, this, of course, we want to keep up pace in La Liga, you know, up there with Sevilla, Real Madrid, who both won this weekend, but also there for Trincao. A massive moment, a lovely one for him in his Barcelona career. So overall thoughts there, I think we can say look for Barcelona, good win, an important one. It's another confidence booster. The team is looking really together right now, but maybe a bit worrying. I think formation-wise, personnel-wise, the way we set up today was just a little bit odd from Ronald Koeman. I did feel throughout that whole game, I'm sure you guys would agree, the positioning of the players was just so weird all over the pitch. You know, players out of position, players like Braithwaite and Pjanic really disappointed. Uh, the defence was a bit of a shambles for most of the games position-wise as well. You know, had two left footed centre-backs on by the end. Of course, Mingetha was like right back again. Uh, we lacked midfield there for the latter stages as well. So it was all a bit of a jumbled mess at some stages. And that wasn't really too good to watch. But you got to say, the game changed when Messi came off the bench. Whether that's a good or a bad thing, I don't really know. It's great that Messi's in such good form, but a little bit bad that we're relying on him so much. But... At the end of the day, we get our victory. It is a nice win. And now we take on Sevilla midweek. We could have discussed this game for a bit longer, of course. There were some moments in there that we would, would like to talk about. The defence, maybe, we're not so impressed with. But you've got to say, that attack, we've got the players on the pitch. Messi, uh, Alba coming up there too. Pedri, De Jong, Griezmann, Dembele, Trincao off the bench. It looks really, really dangerous. But like I said there, it's on to Sevilla now. A massive, massive game in our season. I'll see you guys very, very soon for the match preview for that game. That will be coming on the Tuesday for the Wednesday match. That's an absolutely massive one. Hopefully, we rested enough tonight. We got away with the win in the end. Hopefully, the pairs like Messi, even Pedri and De Jong, if that's possible, are a little sharper. We'll have to wait and see about that one. And hopefully, Adal Hoysen out for too long. That is a big miss at the back. But we will be seeing you guys soon. We will be discussing all of these things. Barca get their win tonight. Another good evening for us, Kules. And goodbye.